Greetings, children. So I went thrifting today because one of my bookie butts had inspired me to go thrifting today because I haven't been thrifting in a long ass time because I've been too busy working a fucking nine to five. I look cute. I got off of work early as hell today. I'm always in my panties, in my undies. That's cute. And I was like, you know, early bird do get the worm, and I miss out on getting that worm. But I'm gonna go to Family Thrift Outlet anyways. But on Thursdays, if you know, you know, that's when they have real, real, real good shit. It's a little bit more pricier. When I say pricier, I mean two dollars and twenty five cents pricier. And um, I don't really be looking forward to paying two dollars and twenty five cents for some clothes because I am so cheap. <sighs> so let's dig in. So I got thirteen items for the low, low price of twenty nine dollars and twenty five cents. Oh wait, no, I got it on taxes. I got everything for the low, low price of thirty one dollars and sixty six cents. Yeah, I like that. My bookie that had inspired me to go for things today, he actually got burgundy leather coat at the thrift shop by him. And seeing that post alone made me want to go. So it's crazy that I actually found one myself when I went thrifting. I ain't trying to put it on for real, for real, because this shit needs to be clean. You know, this stuff in the thrift shop, it be funky as hell. Not like booty funky, but like old funky house, you know. Um, I have been working on expanding my tie collection. I'd love to show you guys all the ties that I got. I don't want to call them bitches, but I mean it like in a good way. <laughs> I saw these alternative bitches coming up in there. When I seen the pink hair, I knew it was fucking over. I said, hell no. I started following these bitches around the store because y'all was going to come take the good shit. But then when I saw them sniffing and digging around the area, I was like, nah, 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 nah. These bitches know some shit that I don't. So I went back to that area. Go ahead and take a closer look at the ties um i don't know what you call this but i know it's a type of plaid and then i don't know how to tie a tie so i was really excited that i came across it's a clip on tie as you can see we keeping that gray purple black pink situation going on because i just feel like those are classic colors when you create an alternative look just i cannot wait to put something together with that okay we got some more purple purple is just such a very classy very royal a very regal color Oh, my leg and my foot on the left side started getting hot all of a sudden. What the fuck does that mean? I needed some more. Well, excuse the hell out of me. Before I was rudely interrupted by my deranged, barbaric ass neighbors who laying on the motherfucking horn like you in the middle of traffic. Bitch, it's a parking lot. Anyways, um, I needed more button down shirts because I was getting tired of recycling. The only two button down shirts that I have. And my coworkers probably gonna be looking at me like, damn girl, do you ever like have other button down shirts? I really don't give a damn what my coworkers think about me. Because one thing about me, I don't really wear some motherfucking clothes. You ain't even gonna be able to tell. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I work in an office type of setting. Now, I don't always wear, you know, the typical office clothes, but when I do want to give off a type of office look, I go for office baddie, okay? It's very tight fitting, so she's going to cuff my ass. Um, they're gonna be giving legs and hips and body, body. Uh, uh, uh. Side note, um, one of my coworkers that I don't really be talking to like that told me that I be coming to work naked, and I was like, "Do I? I never get dress coded though, and that's why you sit mad coming up and work with all this big old, big old juicy ass, and I'm bow legged, and that's why y'all really mad." Yeah. Anyways, like I was saying, I needed some more uh, button down shirts, so I went and picked up this blue and white striped situation. Let me tell y'all a little trick about thrifting, right? Before you go into the thrift shop, before you even leave the motherfucking house, number one, you need to be dressed in something comfortable so you can try to close on number two. You have to set intention, okay? If you do not set intention, um, the thrift gods are not going to put you in the space to find the things that you're looking for. Before I came into the thrift shop today, I had been thinking about how I wanted some pants with grommet holes on the side of them. And I can create some really nice alternative looks with that. So I don't know what all these little white stains is, but I still felt like these jeans had a lot of potential. So I picked them up anyway, because I love a big juicy ass pair of oversized jeans. You know what I'm saying? The Lord did bless me with all of these ESS, but I ain't always got to show them. Yeah. So yeah, I really like this. I never heard of this brand, but it's called Pure Players Product. Yeah. And you know me, I'm a real pee bitch. So I forgot to include this tie when I was showing y'all my ties earlier. This just goes the fuck off. <laughs> I'm lazy. I don't have the mental capacity to learn how to tie a tie. Yeah, last but not motherfucking least. So this is gonna have my booty looking like a shelf when I wear it to work. Like, y'all, these people at work be trying to risk it all behind me. Like, baby, your wife works here. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't even know if I'm ready for all that type of attention. This is just like the life of an introvert that loves dressing up. But you already know what comes with that territory when you like popping the fuck out. People always have something to say. And it's like, damn, sometimes I just want to exist. It's hard to feel flattered with you flirting with me because I'm absolutely irresistible when I know that you have a wife and I don't find you attractive at all. As my supervisor, compliment my outfit and fucking leave, but you don't have to tell me that we will be dating. But that's what a good ass motherfucking outfit will do to motherfuckers. Motherfucker ready to risk it all. Cause you like how I put that shit on, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Motherfucker ready to end his motherfucking marriage. Cause he said she be putting this shit on. I don't know. Maybe that means his wife don't put that shit on. But if that's the case, you and wifey can actually book me. Yeah. Let me uh, revamp her style. 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching this very impromptu birth haul. But yeah, um, love y'all. Bye. Attitude. Now walk off. Ooh, that stanky booty walk so motherfucking stanky. Oh.